Hello you gorgeous people of the interwebs, I hope you're having a fan dabby dozy day today. Listen, I know you have been concerned following my fall haul. Yes, you've been concerned about me. You wanted to know, did she get her moisturiser? Did she take back the v-neck pink cashmere sweater? What's happening? Well, welcome to fall haul part two. Yes, this is part two of my fall haul, so I did go and make some changes and I did possibly add a few things <laughs> because I can't stop shopping. Now, I'm in my pink. This is one of my original pieces of cashmere. This is one of my bargain ones. And no, it's not Wednesday. I'm not filming this on a Wednesday. Therefore, it is not hashtag Pink Wednesday, but what it is, is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Oh, yes, indeed it is. Time to check your norks, ladies. Yes, give them a good, give them a good poke and uh, make sure everything's okay. And I would like to say a big thank you to Rose Forever, who sent me some roses. They are donating a percentage of their sales to breast cancer research and um, they asked me to help spread the word. So here I am helping to spread the word. And this is what arrived a couple of days ago. And I've got to say, because I'm moving house soon, I am delighted in this packaging because this means I can pop the lid back on when we move and my, and my roses will be protected <gasps> look at that lovely gorgeous pink perfect for breast cancer awareness month you can go ahead and use my code which i will have on the screen and down in my description below but if you're also new to rose forever then go and have a look they do all sorts of colors not just pinks they do all sorts of colors they do all sorts of presentation packs and um, these are absolutely lovely i really wasn't sure what to expect but these roses have been treated and they will last you for a year that is the claim i have seen from some of my youtube buds that actually they've lasted a lot longer than that um i don't know about you but i love cut flowers but i don't like to watch them disintegrate and die it makes me very very sad so i tend not to have cut flowers around the place this is a brilliant alternative so go and check them out I shall have these displayed up here so you can um, appreciate the pink prettiness again I'll have a link and a code down below go and check them out and don't forget throughout the month of October breast cancer awareness month they will be um, donating to charity I'm going to pop these up here we need to have a bit of a tidy round and a clear round there you go Oh, they look really pretty. Oh, lovely. Definitely check out your noughts, kids. It's so, so important. I think all of us, if not someone in our family, we know someone who has suffered from breast cancer, whether they have survived or succumbed to it. It is hugely, hugely important to check yourself and make sure everything is okay. I personally found a lump under here a few years ago and... I kind of went into a bit of a flat spin, a bit of a panic. Um, I got referred, I got to the hospital, I went into the hospital thinking, oh, what are they going to tell me, what are they going to tell me? And basically I had everything done that day. I had, a, I had a, a nurse give me a little prod and a poke. Now things are a little bit lumpy in here already, but that is for a different video. I will explain more in a different video. Um, but she did say it was difficult to work out if there was anything untoward or not because of the sort of lumpiness inside. Um, but she did find the lump. And while I was on the table, she said, do you mind if I take a quick biopsy? Which I'm really, really happy about. Because if she'd said, if you can come back tomorrow for a biopsy, I would have been spending the next 24 hours panicking about... <laughs> about being punctured with a huge needle so because she said there and then I was like crack on get on with it do it do it now before I have a chance to think about it and panic she did and then she sent that away and then I, 
I sort of had to hang around for a little bit. Um, I had a mammogram, my first one, that was excruciatingly painful. Um, and then I had a couple more checks. Uh, I think I had an ultrasound as well. I had a few checks, but basically after about four hours in hospital, the results had come back from my biopsy. It was just a fatty lump. And I was given the all clear and I was able to go home and you know, we were able to just relax. So it is so, so important to get yourself checked out. If you find anything, it may not be nothing, but it may be something that you need to look into. So Breast Cancer Awareness Month, kids, spread the word, check your norks. It's hugely, hugely important. Right, now I'm gonna move on to the whole part of this video. Um, <laughs> where to start? Okay, let's start with I'm wearing this one, this is one of my original ones, but I bought a V-neck one and I wasn't entirely sure about it. So did I go back and buy the V-neck Cardi version? <laughs> yes, I did, yes I did. And I am delighted. Oh, it's, it looks like a very slightly lighter shade to this one, but it's all good, it's all pink. So, oh my God, I've just noticed the Well, that's another trip to John Lewis that I wasn't expecting. How did I not notice that when I was hanging that up? Well, this has taken a turn. Um, <laughs> okay, well, I better go and get that taken off. But this is um, the Round Neck Cardi. I've already got this in bright green. I absolutely love it. I've loved wearing it way more than I ever expected to. I thought it was gonna be something that I just tried, um, but it turns out I absolutely loved it. And because I love it so much, I also ordered it in this kind of biscuity, beigey kind of colour. What colour do they call it? What colour do they call it? Grey. Light grey. <laughs> okay, we got there in the end. So yes, I picked up this colour because you know I'm getting into my neutrals. Don't know what's going on but I'm very much looking forward to wearing this neutral colour as well. And because at heart I'm a hot pink or black kind of girl, I got the same Cardi in black because you cannot go wrong with having black pieces in your wardrobe that will go with absolutely everything. And I'm thinking I'm gonna wear this with some of my more summery jumpsuits Chuck them on over the top. Okay, it's gonna make going for a wee a little bit more tricky, but um, it will elongate the wearability and the versatility of those uh, jumpsuits. So happy with that as well. Bit more cashmere, bit more pink. I did it! I picked up the wrap type scarf type shawl type wrap thing this is they've got two versions of this they've got a, a sort of thinner shorter scarf one and then this one is much more of a wrap and this is the one that i wanted and i got matching beanie to go with it as well so i'm looking forward to snuggling down with these so those are all the pieces that you might kind of have felt that you might have thought i might have gone for with the addition of a couple more cardies I couldn't find my moisturiser. Well, I searched high and low. Lancome have indeed discontinued my favourite moisturiser. Why I order, Lancome? Why I order? But someone came to the rescue. And that someone was Harrods! Harrods still had in stock my moisturiser. past the parcel. <laughs> I bought three, three tubs of it. Um, I didn't clear them out, there were more left, but um, yes, gel, cream, gel, cream, gel, cream, they're all the right one. So I'm okay for the time being until I can find an alternative. And it doesn't stop there. These are my slippers at the moment because my wombles died. My wombles were like Birkenstocks with like a little bit of tweed over the top of it. Absolutely loved them. 
absolutely forgot that I was wearing indoor slippers all the time because they've got a hard bottom and they actually really did feel like they were constructed just like Birkenstocks. So I used to forget that I was wearing them and then I'd go and do the food shop and I'd go out and I'd be out with the lion and I'd be like, oops, I've left the wombles on again. Um, but they died and they weren't machine washable. So I went back to my backup slippers these I bought these um, a year and a half ago I think or something they're very pretty they're very kind of Christmassy and things they're by white stuff you can see they've still got a hard bottom so I can wear them outside but they have no support whatsoever absolutely none and I'm really really hard on my slippers so I was considering going for some Uggs or something like that um, again but I thought I don't want to spend £100 plus or 60 or whatever on a pair of slippers that I am basically just going to kill. So I picked up these ones from John Lewis. These are from the Any Day range and these were cheap as chips, 20 quid. 20 quid for a pair of slippers. They are faux sheepskin. Um, and I know I'm going to kill these pretty quickly. So... Yeah, I'd rather kill a twenty pair, a twenty pound pair of faux sheepskin slippers than a sixty, eighty, hundred pound pair of actual sheepskin slippers. And again, I opted for this kind of beigey colour as opposed to they had a pink, it was like a rose gold pink. Um, but I didn't like it very much. It had a weird shimmer on it that I didn't approve of. So I went for these ones. They had a dark grey as well. Um but yeah, these are the ones that spoke to me. Now, I don't know if you remember from my shopping vlog, I tried on this top. Look at this. It's a silk fronted top with a sort of a, a jersey t-shirty back on it. This is from Mint Velvet. And um, I tried it on, but the one that they had in store in my size, which is an XL, um, had a pull in the fabric and I was like no no I'm not having it if it's got a pull in the fabric I don't want that so I came home I checked that they had them online before I left the store just in case um came home and I ordered it in this color and this came I mean you can see how crinkled up it is but this came flat in like a plastic cover um and then it was folded up now I absolutely love this. I really, really love this. And because I enjoyed it so much and I wanted to see if they had any other colours, I picked it up in this. This colour is called Khaki and it is a very, 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 very dark kind of green colour, almost black. If the camera will pick that up. Now this one wasn't laid out so nicely in the order because these were an online order that came packaged up in a box. Um, this one was in a plastic garment carrier thing, but it had basically been scrunched up into a ball and just thrown in there. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. I just love that shimmer. I really, really do. It is absolutely gorgeous. And the colour is just divine. I picked up this top. <laughs> I saw this and I thought, mm, this looks cool. Now, I don't generally like high necked things. But this is designed to be a v-neck so um, I don't mind the fact that it's high up around the back and the sides because it is a v-neck it isn't one that's supposed to be buttoned up and then you just let it loose um, I love everything about this I love the fit of it it's quite loose it's easy to tuck in I love the balloony type sleeves and the fact that the cuff is tight enough that it doesn't slip over my hand. Generally speaking, when you get to the extra large sizes, I have found things like elasticated cuffs are massive and they just fall straight over your hands. Look at the detail on the shoulders. I love it. It's it's kind of epaulette styly, but in more of a deco flavour. Um, I really, 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 really love it. This is probably one of my favourite tops I have ever, ever, ever purchased. So there you go. And I'm 46 now, nearly 47. So I think that is saying something. Right, um, I think that is everything for this fall haul take two. This time it's personal. I am going to leave this one out so I can take it back and get that security tag. Why didn't I go off?
It definitely didn't go off. Oh well, it's an excuse to go back to the shop, isn't it? <laughs> right, I need to take that back and get that tag taken off. Um, let me know in the comment section what you think of my additional pieces, my fall haul part two. Don't forget to check yourselves, check yourselves for any lumps, bumps. If you find anything, get them checked out. It may be scary, but do it. You absolutely have to do it. I know I like to keep everything really upbeat and light-hearted and a little bit silly on this channel, but there are some things we do need to be a bit serious about. And one of those things is looking after yourself, being kind to yourself, checking yourself for any danger signs, any warning signs, anything that shouldn't be there. If you're feeling strange or not how you would usually feel if you think something is wrong please do go and get yourself checked out and until i see you yes you boop for the next video please stay safe be kind to yourselves be kind to others stay fan dozy and bye bye